Wi-Fi is all around you. It's in your home, it's out there in the streets, it's in your favorite coffee shop, and it's in your pocket. It allows you to quickly check every single question that pops into your head. It helps you track your steps and stay fit, track your sleep, and stay notified on everything. And there is literally no way you can escape it. Considering that everyone is exposed to insane levels of Wi-Fi every single day, how safe are you? According to a quick Google search, exposure to Wi-Fi can cause insomnia, lead to impaired brain functions, and even cause cancer. Not that you should believe everything you read on the internet. Believe it or not, there is a lot of misinformation out there. So, sit back and relax while we explain the effects Wi-Fi has on your sleep. But before we get to that, make sure you click the like button and subscribe for more content. A Science Lesson in Wi-Fi there are various types of radiation, but the average Wi-Fi router uses radio frequency, or RF, which is a form of electromagnetic radiation. This type of radiation brings internet connection to all the devices around the globe. The dangerous kind of radiation, known as ionizing radiation, includes some ultraviolet light, gamma rays, and X-rays. This type of radiation is so strong that it can change or even break your DNA, which could potentially lead to cancer. However, Wi-Fi is a form of non-ionizing radiation that includes everything from low-energy radio waves used by walkie-talkies to radio waves emitted by your microwave. Even Bluetooth, which most of us use daily for our wireless headphones and watches, is yet another form of non-ionizing radiation. A Wi-Fi router can produce about 1 watt of power, which is a tiny amount of energy that can't really affect or alter your DNA the same way ionizing radiation can. But is it dangerous though? Just like any technology out there, researchers and scientists disagree over the effect Wi-Fi has on people. Some experts claim that excessive exposure to Wi-Fi can be extremely harmful to your health, and many studies are proposing theories on the topic. Some studies have found a link between certain types of cancer and excessive exposure to radio frequency fields. Cancer types include breast cancer, brain cancer, and leukemia. On the other hand, there is no specific evidence or an individual study which shows what exactly happens to people when they are exposed to radio frequency. Other studies link mobile phone usage to brain tumors, but according to the authors of Environmental Health Perspectives, the evidence that supports the theory is inconclusive. What about Wi-Fi and sleep? Some people claim that exposure to Wi-Fi has led to developing a syndrome called electrohypersensitivity. This syndrome leads to sleep interference under exposure to Wi-Fi. Nevertheless, this is not recognized as an actual disorder by the World Health Organization. According to the WHO, no adverse short or long-term health effects have been shown after exposure to radio frequency signals that are produced by cell phone towers. Additionally, wireless networks produce even lower radio frequency than phone towers, which means no adverse health effects should be expected. So, what should you do with Wi-Fi when you're sleeping? In case you're still worried about Wi-Fi while you're sleeping, there are several things you can do to limit the exposure. For example, you can set up the Wi-Fi router far away from the rooms where you sleep or spend the majority of your time in. When you go to bed, you can turn off your Wi-Fi router and any other wireless devices. If you keep your cell phone next to your bed, you can always turn on the airplane mode. It will suspend the radio frequency that's coming from the device and all text and phone services. It'll also help you get a good night's sleep. Though there is not enough research on how dangerous Wi-Fi is to your health, there are multiple benefits to turning off devices or keeping them in a different room while you sleep. For one, the production of melatonin can be disrupted via the blue light your device is emitting, thus interfering with your sleep. Additionally, your phone is distracting you from getting rest when you need it most. You're mindlessly scrolling through social feeds, reading things you're not interested in, and watching videos that you never thought you would. Instead, you should leave your phone in another room and wind down with a good book. If you'd like to take a step further in making sure you're not as exposed to Wi-Fi as the rest of us, you can use wired headphones instead of holding a phone to your ear, a landline instead of a cell phone, and an Ethernet cable instead of a Wi-Fi router. However, it's nearly impossible to avoid RF fields entirely. But if you'd like to limit your exposure to them, you can just use common sense and the advice we mentioned in this video. Or alternatively, you could always move to one of the many wireless-free zones that exist all around the globe. The choice is yours.